Yeah, 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 yeah. Peace, everybody. What's good? It's our boy, Joseph Malachi Williams, and you are now tuned to New Media Today USA. Let's go. All right, now, y'all, um, this particular this particular video right here is about Terrence Crawford. Um, I was doing some research today, looking at a lot of different YouTube channels, looking at um, doing some research on Google, and I came across um, this brother's Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV YouTube channel, and um, he's talking about, you know, how Terrence Crawford's team feel disrespectful feel that they were disrespected by Errol Spence because he offered them a 60-40 split. And then he gave his particular opinion on why Terrence Crawford should take the um, the, the 40%. And he used the the, uh, the the Floyd Mayweather and Oscar De La Hoya um, argument as the reason why because Floyd took 30% and let Oscar get 70% because he believed in himself and beating Oscar and yada, 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 yada. Okay, but that's neither here nor there. But I took some notes. You know, I always take notes when I do these videos. So the LDBC is pretty much upset with Terrence Crawford because Blue is a part of the LDBC. Um, but I'm saying a lot of the LDBC members, they are upset with Terrence Crawford because he won't take the 60-40 split. But they not only mad at that, they mad because Terrence Crawford signed with top rank. Why are they upset that he signed with top rank? I have no idea. Terrence Crawford did what he felt like was best for him and his family. He was getting paid. He's getting paid guaranteed four million dollars a fight. Who won't take guaranteed four million dollars a fight? You know what I mean. You know, so a YouTuber can't tell me that I shouldn't take four million dollars a fight. Especially when you're not a professional boxer, you're not in my shoes, you don't know uh, 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 my financial situation. And that four million dollars that Terence Crawford has been getting paid per fight since he's been in the welterweight division. He he has five fights so far. So you do the math. That's twenty million dollars he don't make so far. And I think he has one or two more under that contract. And he'll be out of there because his contract expires 10 months from now in October. So anyways, so let's see. So this is what Blue says. Blue says that Crawford, he's upset because Crawford allows Bob Arum to lowball Sean Porter. Offer Sean Porter $1 million for the fight. But I say, okay, look, Sean Porter is the mandatory for the WBO championship, right? So all he has to do is, you know, is initiate his mandatory clause. If Bob Arum don't want to pay for the fight, let it go to a purse bid. And guess what? Voila. Al Heyman can pay for the fight. You see what I'm saying? So let Al Heyman pay for the fight. Put the money up. Let him pay Sean Porter what he wants. And then they can get the fight going on. Me personally, I want to see that Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter fight. I think that Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter fight would do a lot for Terrence Crawford. Especially if he wins. And if he stop him or drop Sean Porter three or four times in the fight, he, you know, he'll make a statement like no other. So I really want to see Sean Porter and Terrence Crawford fight. Because I think that Sean Porter feels like that. Um, he can just run in there, bulldog his way in like he always fights, head first like he's a fullback, and just muscle Terrence Crawford. It's not going to go down like that because he was able to do that with Errol Spence. He was able to do that with Errol Spence, but Errol Spence is not Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford is not Errol Spence. Errol Spence um, didn't do distance. Um, he didn't do range. He just went in there and let Sean Porter dictate the whole fight. Um, Errol, I mean, Terrence Crawford's not going to do that. That's not going to work with him. So anyway, so... Um, um, what Sean Porter need to do, since um, um, Bob Arum is lowballing you, what Sean Porter need to do is activate his mandatory clause, let it go to a purse bid, he get the money he want, the fight goes down between Trans Crawford and Sean Porter, and we get that. That's that. All right, now, Blue also said that Sean, you know, Crawford should take the 60-40 split from EJ because EJ is the biggest star. So he's saying out of the two in the welterweight division, er, I mean, uh, Errol Spence is the biggest star, er, Errol Spence Jr. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so... You know, he's basing that on, hey, uh, Sean and uh, um, Errol Spence's pay-per-view numbers have been better. His last three pay-per-view fights have did over the, well over 300000 a apiece. Um, Mikey Garcia, Danny Garcia, and Sean Porter. So he's saying that and since, Errol, and since um, Terrence Crawford, pay-per-view numbers are way, way less than, than Errol Spence. That shows that Errol Spence has the drawing power from a fan standpoint. The fans want to come see him um, fight. The fans don't really come out and support Terrence Crawford like that outside of um, Omaha, Nebraska. So he has a valid point right there. I can't even dispute that or argue that. He has a valid point right there. So anyways, that's point one that he did make. I say now, um, and I will say this here. So in defense of Blue, in defense of Blue, you know, he's saying that 40% is a bigger payday for, for Terrence Crawford that he'll, ever, that he'll ever get because this fight is going to do big numbers. Everybody's assuming that this fight will do big numbers. So he, he's going to get 40%. Of, uh, of 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 the pay per view buys, which is going to be big numbers. That forty percent is going to be way more than he's ever been paid, according to Blue. According to Blue, we don't know what the negotiations going to be like. 
So I can't say. That's what he's saying out of his mouth. But how does he know? We don't know. But um, if he's right, then he may have a point. But we won't know until the negotiations come about, until we find out what's in the contract. Other than that, it's just speculation at this point. Um, it's just a hypothetical suggestion. He, he's saying that Terrence Crawford should take the 40 percent. OK, but no one knows. I mean, I'm not the, I'm not the one to tell another man what he should take. He feels like he's worth more than that. Who am I to tell another man that you that you're not worth more than what you feel like th that you should be asking for? You see what I'm saying? So, you know, for me to listen to a YouTuber, you know, for me to be a boxer that I am and I'm listening to a YouTuber telling me that, hey, you should do this and do that. You know, it's ludicrous. You know, I, I would never, you know, I'm a boxer. I'm the one that's training. I'm the, I'm the one that's putting my life on the line. I'm the one that's taking punches. I'm the one that's giving punches. I'm the one that took my life and body through all of this stuff to get to where I'm at and where I have to take care of my team. And I do a good job of taking care of my team. And the nigga on YouTube is going to tell me what I should take and how I should negotiate my business. And I'm the one taking punches. Poor hush. Sit down somewhere. Anyways, um, Blue also says that, um, that, um, that uh, Terrence Crawford feels like that because he was champion at 135, 140, and 147, that um, and his skill set. This is the reason why Terrence Crawford won. Think, think, think it should be a 50-50 fight. Now, if you look at it that way, Terrence Crawford is right. So he he makes a valid point. You see what I'm saying? Terrence Crawford is saying, "Hey, listen, I've been three division champion, right? First fight I had at welterweight, I won my belt, right? I don't defended this belt four or five times since I've been in the division, right? Knocked out everybody I fought." And when I was at wealth, junior welterweight, I was undisputed. So if you look, at, you know, and he has a million accolades. Ring Magazine of the Year, pound for pound. The list goes on and on and on. So Terrence Crawford is saying that based on this, according to Blue, this is why he feel like the fight should be 50-50. Blue says otherwise. Blue says that, um, you know, his grossing power. And I'm looking at the notes that I wrote down in, in this interview. His grossing power, Terrence Crawford's grossing power outside of the ring is where the problem lies for Terrence Crawford. He said because he doesn't have the star power that er Errol Spence has, this is why he should take the 60-40 split. This is what he said. Now, I had to look at that very objectively. And that's, um, that's how he feels. That's a subjective way of looking at it. Because he looks, he feels like er Errol Spence is the bigger star. Okay, he might have a valid point in that. But uh, Terrence, uh, Terrence Crawford doesn't feel that way. You see what I'm saying? Terrence Crawford doesn't feel that way. He feels like that what he's bringing to the table from a skill set standpoint and from all the stuff that he's accomplished in his boxing career. And remember what I said. I said that Terrence Crawford has a better boxing career than Errol Spence. Errol Spence has a better uh, welterweight, 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 <laughs> my tongue getting tongue tied, um, welterweight uh, uh, record from, from a fighting opposition standpoint than um, Terrence Crawford. He does. He fought Sean Porter. He fought Danny Garcia. Um, I can't even really count Mikey Garcia because Mikey Garcia was a lightweight. But if you want to throw him in there, we'll throw him in there. So he fought a lightweight. He fought Sean Porter and he fought Danny Garcia. So that those three names, Mikey Garcia, Danny Garcia, and Errol Spence, I mean, and, uh, Sean Porter, are, are bigger names than what um, Terrence Crawford has fought. Even though Terrence Crawford fought Carol Brooks, but quote-unquote Carol Brooks is, was washed up now. You see what I'm saying? He fought Amir Khan, but Amir Khan really was washed up. And um, he fought Jeff Horn. He fought um, David, uh, no, uh, not David, not David Benavidez. He fought the ben Benavidez. David is the brother, the younger brother. And um, who else he fought? He fought the Mean Machine. You know what I mean? So I see what they're saying as, as an argument there, but uh, Terrence Crawford makes a valid point to counter that, that he's been three, he's been a three-time world champion in three different weight divisions, which is what makes him pound for pound in my, in, in my, in my eyes. You know, he's, he's been champion in three different weight divisions. And not only that, um, you know, he's been undisputed before. And he won, a, he won the title. He's a little man moving up in weight to fight these big welterweights and he's stopping them. Okay, so Blue's argument also is that Floyd Mayweather gave, gave in until all of Oscar De La Hoya's demands when they fought in 2007, I think. And um, I think that's 2007, yeah. They fought in 2007. And, um, you know, uh, De La Hoya asked for a 70-30 split. He picked the gloves. He picked the rings. He dictated everything. So Blue is saying because Floyd Mayweather did it, gave in to um, uh, De La Hoya's demands that uh, Terrence Crawford should do the same. The only problem with that is Errol, no, Errol Spence is not, um, is not Oscar De La Hoya. And he, he would never be a bigger star than Oscar, Oscar De La Hoya ever was. So you can't even compare the two. That's one. Two, um, um, Terrence Crawford is not Floyd Mayweather. 
right? So he shouldn't say, hey, well, Floyd did this, I'm going to do that. No, he's not Floyd Mayweather. He's going to do what he feel like that he needs to do what's best for him and his family. Whether I agree with it, Blue agree with it, LDBC agree with it or not is irrelevant. I'm, I, I can't tell another man how he should handle his own business, how he should negotiate his business. I can't tell another man how to do that. That's crazy. You know, so your argument is he should do A, B, C, and D because Floyd did it with uh, De La Hoya. Who the hell is you to tell another man what he should be doing? You know what I mean? As it relates to his business. Terrence Crawford knows, knows his situation better than anyone. You are a YouTuber. Stay in your YouTuber lane. That's all I'm saying. You know, now you're giving your opinion on it. Nothing wrong with that. You're giving your opinion. But, you know, you know, it's up to Terrence Crawford. You see what I'm saying? And if he don't see it the way you see it, now you see, now Blue probably saying that, hey, that's what I would do if, it, if you was him, and you probably would do that. You know what I mean? And there's nothing wrong with that. But Terrence Crawford don't see it that way. I can't tell a man that he's wrong for that because um, Errol Spence, Errol Spence is not Oscar De La Hoya. He don't have that star power like that. And um, Terrence Crawford is not Floyd Mayweather. These are two different. This is a different era of boxing. You don't make today's decisions. Based on yesterday's news, you don't say, "Hey, well, this fighter did this and that fighter did that." That's why I'm gonna do a follow their footsteps. No, you gotta you gotta go down your own path, right? So this is, but this is um this is what Blue is saying. Blue is saying that um you know like I say, it's a different time in a different era. And according to the LDBC, EJ star power is bigger than Terrence Crawford, and he should be reasonable, right? And bow down to the PBC and and uh, and Errol and Errol Spence, and and because numbers don't lie. And he need to do what they tell him to do in order to get that fight done. Bullshit. That's a very arrogant way of looking at things. Um, Terrence Crawford is not going to do that. He's not going to buy down to the PBC and buy down to LDBC and buy down to anyone. He has his mind fixated on what he wants, and there's nothing wrong with that. I don't see anything wrong with that. If they fight, cool. If they don't fight, it is what it is. It would be a shame for us boxing fans, but hey, it is what it is. Blue also said that Terrence Crawford should not have re resigned with top rank. <coughs> this is what they're mad at. So they upset because Terrence Crawford made a decision to resign with top rank in 2018. Listen, before um, when Terrence Crawford's uh, contract was up, he resigned. You know, they saying that he should have went to the PBC. Who, who the hell are you to tell another man what he should, what he, what who he should sign with? You know, Bob Aaron gave that man four million dollars a fight, guaranteed. To fight to resign with top rank. Nobody was offering him that. Now you I, you might say, hey, if you if you went to the PBC, he could have been made. He could have made more money than that fighting all those other guys. Maybe he could have. Maybe he couldn't. Have. We don't know. You see what I'm saying? This is all hypothetical at this point. You see what I'm saying? All hypotheticals. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. If I woulda ran, I coulda got away. Now I'm in jail talking about what I shoulda done. We don't know. But he did what was best for him and his family. Four million dollars guaranteed. He get to take care of his team. He get to take care of his family. And so. He to, to, and to me, he didn't do anything wrong about signing that contract. You see what I'm saying? Now, if him signing that contract preventing him from getting bigger fights with PBC, then that has nothing to do with him. That has to do with promotions. You know, one group is mad at another group. So PBC is Al Heyman. He don't really fuck with Bob Arum like that, even though that Terrence Crawford have fought PBC fighters. You know what I mean? But certain PBC fighters is off limits. So, you know, they pick and choose which fighter they want to fight. So, me personally, I think that, um, um, so they're saying that it's Terrence Crawford's fault while he's in this predicament. So, they upset because he resigned with um, Bob Arum. And we all automatically know the LDBC is pro-PBC. You see what I'm saying? So, basically, they're saying that, hey, you signed with the wrong team. <coughs> I didn't know YouTubers pick sides. YouTubers picking sides. I'm with, I'm with PBC. You, you niggas ain't getting a check from PBC. You know what I mean? So you with PBC? I don't know. Maybe, maybe you know. I mean, I know y'all ain't getting nothing from them. So why are you so pro PBC and anti Bob Arum? I don't know. You know what I mean? Bob Arum is he a piece of shit? Yeah, of course he's a piece of shit. But my point is, you know, when you are a journalist, you got to be as objective as possible. You can't be like, hey, I'm pro this and and, and against that. That's not, you know that takes away from that uh, objectivity of being a journalist. You know, but you guys are not journalists. You know what I mean? So I understand that you just YouTubers start a YouTube channel. But when you are a journalist like I am, you don't show bias like that. Even if you are biased, even if you like Errol Spence over, over, over Terrence Crawford, like Terrence Crawford is my favorite fighter, but I'm not going to cap for him, but I'm going to try to just lay the facts out as much as possible and try to be, you know, try to be unbiased in my analysis. Now, if I am biased about something, I say, I say, you know what, man, I'm kind of leaning more towards um, 
um, Terrence Crawford if they fight because I really like TC. I like TC a lot. He's I'm a big fan of his. You know what I mean? And I think that um, he will really, really get it down and make it do what he do. So, you know, so basically it seems like um, the LDBC is pretty much upset with Terrence Crawford because he's not making the moves that they feel like he should be making. You see what I'm saying? Now, who the hell is the LDBC? I don't know. But you don't dictate uh, what certain fighters do. You don't sit back and say, hey, this nigga ain't making the moves that I want him to make, so this is why I don't like him, and this is why I'm favoring more of this fighter, because he make the moves that I want to make. You guys are YouTubers. You're not fighters. You're not Terrence Crawford. You're not Errol Spence. You don't get punched for it in the face for a living. You don't sacrifice your bodies that they go through for a living. You see what I'm saying? You don't make the sacrifices that they make on a daily basis put their bodies and lives on the line in order to provide for their families. You sit down in your chair like I'm sitting down in my chair. You're looking at this webcam like I'm looking at a webcam. I have a, um, a, a Blue Yeti microphone right here, and we're just talking in the mic, giving our opinion and our analysis on what we think. It's all subjective anyways, but when you're doing um, journalism, you know, you're, try, you're supposed to try to be as objective as possible. But anyways, other than that, y'all tell me what y'all think, man. Um, why, why do you think the LDBC is pretty much, um, because I feel like they're upset with Terrence Crawford because he's not making the moves that they feel like he should make. It's like these guys are, are misplacing their position. Your position is a YouTuber. That's all you are. That's all I am. You know what I mean? We, you know, Stop trying to make it seem like you you bigger and more important than what you are. You're not. You're just a YouTuber. You see what I'm saying? And you And you guys are doing real good with your channel. And we all would do good with our channel, as long as we continue to put out content, you know what I mean? But um, other than that, that's it, man. Uh, Terrence Crawford, I'm not the one to tell a man uh, how he should negotiate his business, you know what I mean? Definitely, if I was a boxer in a fight or fighting someone, the last thing I'm going to do is listen to a YouTuber. Your opinion don't mean shit to me. Nigga, you sitting on your ass all day talk, making videos about me all day. So evidently, I must be important to you. You know, or the sport that I dedicated my life to is important to you. And that's how I would look at it if I was a boxer. You see what I'm saying? So other than that, you guys tell me what you think. Um, am I being kind of harsh in my analysis of the LDBC, um, Blue Bloods Sports TV? Um, I ain't got nothing against Blue Bloods, but I'm just saying I like Blue Bloods. I really do like them. But, you know, um, I'm not going to cap for them because I like them. You know, but the LDBC, I ain't really too crazy about um, them as a whole because they on some biased bullshit. But it's a couple of them I do like. They okay. They so-so. You know what I mean? But um, other than that, do y'all think that I'm being too hard on the LDBC in my analysis? Do you think that I'm just being too pro Terrence Crawford? Do you feel like that I'm being anti-Arrow or anti-PBC? What do you think? Please um, leave a comment in the description below. Share, like, and um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Other than that, this is our boy George Malachi Williams representing for New Media Today USA. Peace.